what's happening. Damn, this shit fell down. Damn. Damn, dog. This shit crazy. I ain't never seen this shit happen before. Shit not whip me all in my face. Oh boy. Damn, this shit not whip me, bro. GTF was going on. Goddamn thing done fell and hit the goddamn windshield wiper button. Windshield wiper going off while I'm in the stove. With the spray thing. Damn, shit crazy. Then what the car look. Losing his mind. I came outside. What the fuck? What's your weapon and the spray going on? What's good? What's good? Top of the morning. Again, these things don't last that long, though. You spend like ten, like fifteen dollars on these things, these little phone holder things. They don't even last long. Like the, the glue from this thing is starting to wear off already, to the point it's starting to fall down. What's good? What's good? Top of the morning. What's good, Brick? You working on a Saturday? Get that money, man. Spend that extra bag so you don't get knocked off. Knock offs. What is he talking about? Knock offs. What are you talking about? Who got knock offs? Port in the building, what they do? Clean and watching force. Oh, the new episode is out. I gotta, I gotta watch the new episode too. I gotta get up on that probably tonight, probably to either tonight or tomorrow night. Oh, you, I usually be watching my episodes at night.
Last night I finished watching um uh, well the first season I think that was of um what do they call it? Um The first season of um what they call it? I was watching a show called Hijack. I finished watching the first season of Hijack last night. They got that damn crackhead. What you call it? Janard done turned into a crackhead on four. This shit crazy. That boy a base ahead, you heard? Janard a base ahead. Do a special review. I don't know what I'm doing yet. What you got planned for the day? I'm not even sure yet, to be honest with you. What's this? You lame. Fuck, nigga, you lame. Now get off my shit and get blocked, bitch. I want some of you lame. Fucking square ass motherfucker. Get the fuck off my shit. It's too early, bro. Early in the morning. Bitch ass nigga. Put my shit where the fuck I want to put my shit. It's my shit, motherfucker. Motherfucker come out the blue with the stupidity. I seen his dumb ass name before on here. Now he done got blocked. Hope I don't see your name no more, motherfucker. Got me cursing on the anniversary of Grub Tent. What's wrong with this retard? Retard, bro. Happy birthday, fam. Yeah, that boy Janard tripping. That boy on the heat. Now he on the needle. He getting needles now in his arm. That boy down bad, my boy. Janard, you down bad, my boy. That boy on the needle out here. You understand me? Started snorting. Now you on a needle. Exactly, trying to ruin the day. Diamond seen him. This episode gets real. Diamond seen him high in the house. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. I already know from the previews that Diamond trying to bring him back to the CBI. I don't know how Tommy going to deal with that one. They can't trust that boy. That boy a crackhead. You can't trust no crackhead. Janard, Janard the new Bubbles from The Wire. He the new generation Bubbles. Call him Janard, a.k.a. Bubbles, you heard? Let's have a Q&A. I got that uh, beef empanada. Hit DB. I'm good. How are you?
I understand he Diamond Brother. I understand he Diamond Brother, but Diamond can't trust him. I don't know why they said talk Thai food on here. Yesterday I had some Thai donuts from the Asian spot. You can't trust Janard, man. Janard, he's a mess up, though. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Usually when I go in the morning, they beat them. They beat them just done made them early in the morning. Morning, morning, Francine. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. It ain't just my anniversary, anniversaries, our anniversary, er, the Grub Tent family anniversary. anniversary Got to pour one for the GTF, you heard? Appreciate you, Donette. I'm glad you feel comfortable on here, man. On the Ferris wheel? I don't do good with heights.
That was a beef and banana. Macadies and ten Macadies at ten thirty. A Big Mac with sausage patty. I don't know if we could do that down here. How many Big Macs be tripping? Die what they do. Now, I don't know why my paint they bono flatten, bro. It's ain't like a cookie. It ain't supposed to be flat. It's supposed to be puffy. It's supposed to be puffy. No diddy, you heard? It's our anniversary. I wish I could play the song right now, but I'm gonna be here with the copyright. Yeah, I don't do, I don't do, I don't do well with heights. I mean, I done been on a few little high rides. I, I've been on a on a Ferris wheel before in my life. That was a long time ago. I've been on a roller coaster before, but I don't do well with them high ass stuff. I'm too old for that now. What's good, V? This must be the same clown that was on here earlier. I do what I want. Get off my shit. Block. We got. We got. We got Die. We got V. We got Patrice. We got Brittany and Francine on here at the same time. It might be going to rain today. Better yet. I don't know. It might be gonna rain today, fam. I ain't gonna cat with y'all. How long are you going to keep making the same shorts of videos and beg people to hit the bell? When do I beg people to hit the bell? Well, they retards, bro. Fish and Maybach. Fish was on here yesterday. Oh, what about Kip? I don't know what happened to Kip. Kip fell off. Kip too. Citizen Kip. Mike's still here. Mike's still here. Bones be here. Um, Mike's still here. Bones still here. Um, Jose. Jose pop up every now and then.
That pan de bono was extra toasted, but it was good. What do you guys got planned today on this Saturday morning? I'm just chilling, you feel me? I'm tired. I don't know what I want to do. <clears throat> that old lady was here today. The cafe con leche, right? The names that I was just mentioning, that's the people, that's people who've been, who've been here for a minute. I remember some of the names. I can't remember everybody's name, but shout out to everybody that's been here for a minute, though. But that's some of the people that I, can, I remember that's been here for a minute. Appreciate you, fam. Appreciate you. Sleep and work from work from. What do you mean work from Las Vegas? You don't live there. Offensive player of the week. That's what's up, man. Shout out to your son, fam. The Blue Wrench is the people. That's the uh. That's the moderators. Hold on. Trolls is in here. You heard them woodpeckers is in here. NBA. I mean, I watch basketball. Uh, I'm not like no big fanatic though. Not like I used to be. Like I, I kind of grew out of that. You feel me? Like I'm more on some like, you know, what I mean, I'm not where I want to be in life to be sitting around watching sports. No, nothing against anybody that's that you know that's faithfully watching sports. I just like. You know what I mean? I'm constantly be just trying to get to it. You feel me? So, but I still watch it from time to time. But you know, I'm from Miami, so I'm Miami all the way. Miami, everything. Miami Heat, Miami Dolphins. I don't watch baseball, but I guess you could say Florida Marlins. I mean, my, I mean Miami Marlins, Miami Hurricanes, uh, Miami Hurricanes. What's another one? I don't, I'm not a hockey person, but I guess uh, what Florida Panthers is down here. Florida Panthers, everything Miami, if not Miami, everything Florida, Florida Gators, Florida State Seminoles, everything, feel me, everything Miami, everything Florida. England in the building, what they do? JB is in emo phase. What that hair do? Who's JB? And what hair are we talking about? What is an emo? Emo he? Oh, no, I don't be confused with all these uh abbreviations, fam. Emo Dominican blowout. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. I don't know what he on. He be trip. He tripping. His new vibe, whatever he doing with that hair, he tripping. I ain't feeling that. I don't know what buddy got going on. I can't understand why people like my opinion, why they can't just. Once people get to a certain status, when they start getting a, a lot of attention, like they just start doing weird stuff. Like my opinion, like you feel me? Like if I just if I if I if I if I blow up tomorrow. And you know what I mean? 
and be this big time celebrity. I'm not going to be doing anything, you know, super crazy. Like anything like out of the ordinary. Like people be doing some crazy stuff when once they blow up. Do you watch NFL? Like, yeah, I don't really watch sports like that. But, I mean, I do watch Miami Dolphins play sometimes when I get the chance to. But I, but I might miss a few Dolphin games. I might miss a couple Miami Heat games. Feel me? But everything Miami does me, you heard? Like an emo kid. What is emo? Who are you talking about, Messi? Do you think Jane Harden going to get trade? Mm -mm. I wouldn't know. I know she ain't talking to me because I don't know. Emo is a dark person. Dark person, what, meaning skin color? Gothic, okay. So emo is like people that put like, they be having a little black makeup on the body, eyes and all that with the trench coats and stuff like that. That's an emo? At the stadium. That would be pretty cool. One day. One day. I don't know when though. But that would be pretty cool. Where me back at? I ain't see his name. Or maybe I missed it. Oh, I see it. Oh, maybe back. What they do? Oh, I just got a low-key car, man. I don't really tell people what kind of car I drive. I don't want nobody to know what kind of car I be in, you feel me? I'm low-key like that, you feel me? Like, right now, I'm in a rental. I got this rental yesterday. This is a nice car. I got this car from Avis. Why you eat the oatmeal pie? That was with a sausage patty. That was like a breakfast sandwich, you feel me? A little savory mixed with sweet. That thing was savory. You feel me? It was pretty good too. People be people people be people be hating when they don't come up with stuff first. You feel me? Like I don't see nothing about an oatmeal pie with a sausage patty being nasty. It's similar to a sausage biscuit would put. It ain't nothing, it ain't no different from getting a sausage biscuit and putting grape jelly or strawberry jelly on there. You got this, you got the sweet and the patty is savory. It's the same thing, except for the buns. Instead of having a biscuit buns, you got the oatmeal buns. It's the same thing. Don't people eat oatmeal for breakfast? Yeah, they do. So if I got oatmeal, um, as a oatmeal cookie, oatmeal pie as the oatmeal cookie as the bun and put a sausage in the middle, Instead of putting jelly, you got the frosting in the middle that create the sweetness. How is that nasty? You feel me? How is that nasty? I, I don't see I don't see how it could be nasty. This is my you know what I mean just my just my take on it. No, I mean, ain't nothing wrong. Like, you feel me? If you don't like it, I understand you don't like it. But I'm just saying, some people say it's nasty. Like, you know what I mean? When you say nasty, you know what I mean? It's okay to say you don't like it. I understand that part. But saying nasty to me is like overdoing it, in my opinion. You feel me? It's not nasty. Nasty is putting, I don't know if I put ketchup on an oatmeal pie. 
I think that could be considered nasty. Why would I put ketchup on it? But a sausage in the middle of an oatmeal pie, it ain't no different from putting a sausage and, you know, a sausage biscuit with jelly on it to me. Yeah, I mean, you feel me? Like I said, if, if you ain't never seen it before, I could, you know what I mean? Yeah, it could definitely look wild to people. You know, be like, damn. You know what I mean? It's just like, for, okay, boom, boom, perfect example. When the person, the first person who ever put the, the burger with the donuts, like, that was wild to me, too. But I, I think I had one before. This was before I started doing full review. I had a donut. I think I had a, had I, did I try one before? I don't know, but I don't think I had one before. I, but I'm, I'm th I know it's wild, though. Like, when I first seen it, I thought it was wild. But then again, too, it's like, when I thought it was wild, I, I, I didn't think to myself, ooh, I would never try it. Because at the end of the day, I like donuts and I like burgers. So it's like, why wouldn't I try it? You feel me? They just put the two together. Now, the more so I was concerned about with the donut and the burgers on the health side, because it's like, that's definitely something you can't eat every day. Peanut butterfly. Matter of fact, when I went, I went to a restaurant like two weekends ago, maybe three, four weekends ago, I don't remember, and they had some peanut butter and jelly wings. I tried to order them, and they said they had to ran out of the sauce. I was willing to try that. I think that would have been pretty good. I know it was going to be sweet. Peanut butter and jelly chicken wings. That was when I was in St. Saint, Saint Petersburg. I definitely want to try. They don't make them down here. So I guess I got to go back to St. Petersburg whenever I feel like driving four hours, you know, five hours, whatever how long it was. You sure do. Just messy. I'm, I'm willing to try the peanut butter and jelly chicken wings. I like peanut butter and jelly. I like chicken wings. You feel me? I think what it is is they take the peanut butter and jelly and they create some type of like sauce, sauce with it or something. Luther Vandross. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know that. Is that true? Man's over here like the almond joy. I know one thing though, if they made an almond joy, the almond joy sauce chicken wing, like they made an almond joy sauce to put on a chicken wing, I know one thing, I wouldn't be eating those chicken wings. Now that I would say is nasty. Almond joy chicken wings, I think that'd be nasty. You feel me? I feel what you saying, Milos. People, a lot of people do eat crazy shit, crazy stuff. Some of us might think it's nasty. Some of us don't think it's nasty. Peanut butter and jelly blends nice with the, with the chicken wings. I can't wait to try them. I'm surprised nobody down here had never did that before. I can't wait to try them. Ain't nothing in my plate right now, fam. I already done had my cafe con leche already. How you gonna say something nasty? What I ain't gonna say is nasty. I'm gonna say is that's wild, and I wouldn't try it. I'm enjoy chicken wings. I wouldn't try that. I ain't gonna say nasty. I'm gonna say that's wild, and I wouldn't try it. Yeah, I ain't really with the raw onion situation either. It got to be cooked onions. Coconut chicken wings. I don't like coconut, so I wouldn't be trying that either. 
But then again, though, it might. I don't know. Would the coconuts be sweet? I don't know. Coconut chicken wings. I don't know about that one, fam. Blueberry wings. Now, that sounds fire. I ain't gonna cap with you. Who got blueberry wings? Twix slurry. What's a Twix slurry? Damn, y'all just eat onions like potato chips? Nah, I thought, you know what I mean? I don't know about that one. I mean, onions on a burger, I mean, we can understand all that, but onions, just straight onions by itself? Nah, I don't know about that one, fam. I mean, onion rings, like, you know what I mean? Onion rings by themselves, yeah, but just like onions, no coating on them or no nothing? I don't know about that one, fam. I mean, everybody different. Every, everybody find um different things tasty. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Doc. I ain't gonna lie, Doc. Surprise me with that one. Just sit down, just just get a plate of onions and eat them like they chips. What about you get them a get a little cheese dip and dip the onions in a cheese dip, Doc? Like some chips and dips, yeah. Hey, Doc, I got a cheat code for you. You could do some um onion nachos. You feel me? Instead of the chips, you put the you put the onions in there, you know what I mean? And you put the cheese and you put the chili on there, and boom, now you got onion nachos, die. That's a cheat code for you only though, because I ain't even gonna do it. Raspberry chicken wings, you can find those at a wing place. Raspberry chicken wings sound fire. I ain't even gonna cap with you. Hey tree, send me that place. It's very easy, healthy to eat raw onions. I mean, it probably is. I mean, I don't know the. I mean, I don't know much about it, but it probably is. What kind of health benefits does it have to eat raw onion? What's the benefits of it? People crazy. You know what I think? Now that I think about it, it's like if you're recording a video at your house and you're in your office, right? And you got your plaque in the background of your video because it's in your office. But the car is, is where I mainly do my videos. So I got the plaque in the background in the car. And somebody saw I'm whack for that. That's crazy. So it's, it should be whack too if, you, if it's in the background of your video at your house. The car is my office. Frosted flake cereal and chocolate milk in a blender until it turns soft. Then spoon that up. It's amazing. Frosted flakes with chocolate milk in a blender. And it just eat it just like that or you put it on something. Frosted flakes, chocolate milk, blender, soft paste, spoon. Interesting. Could be, you feel me? Could be. Can't put nothing past people these days. Put it on chicken. Could be, man. They could be jealous, you feel me? 
a person just open up the live. You know, they click on, they go on your live and they click on the live and boom, the plaque hit them in the face. You know what I mean? I, they might feel some type of way. You feel me? That's possible. That's possible. You feel me? They see the thing says somebody live and then you click on the live and then you go on the live and boom, the plaque hits you in the face. Yeah, they might feel some type of way. Very possible. I gotta eat too. And I ain't gonna lie, though, yeah. You don't give me an idea, fam. You don't give me an idea. Put it on a chicken. Detox digestive health. I'm gonna look into that um health benefit of onions. Matter of fact, hold on, let me just Google it right now. Health benefit of onions. I ain't no lie, though. I don't know I'm gonna eat no raw onions, though, fam. I don't know I'm gonna eat no raw onions. Yarr! Likely this uh ninety one saves my dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. Back with my dog again. Health benefit. Of raw onions. <laughs> Ten benefits of consuming raw onions. Where's the full article? It says, here are 10 benefits of raw onion. Number one, it says it boosts the immunity system. Raw onions are an excellent source of vitamin C, which aids in enhancing the body's immunity. Vitamin C assists in the generating white blood cell that defend the body against bacteria, viruses, making raw onions essential in preventing common ailments like the cold and flu. Promotes cardiovascular health. Mm. Onions are rich in antioxidants like quercetin, which assist in decreasing bad cholesterol levels. Oh shit, that should delete. That shit, that shit, um, reduce bad cholesterol levels. Shit, I might need to jump on that. You know, we don't need our cholesterol. You know what I mean? Once you start getting older, that's when the cholesterol issues start coming in. They say help with cholesterol. I might have to look into that. I might actually, you feel me? Try a little piece. You feel me? If it help with the cholesterol. You know, black folks, black males, cholesterol becomes an issue when you start getting older. It says, decreasing bad cholesterol levels in the body, leading to improved cardiovascular health. Consumption of raw onions also aid in enhancing blood circulation, reducing high blood pressure. Oh, shit. Reducing high blood pressure? Enhancing blood circulation? Preventing the risk of heart disease? Eating raw onions don't sound so bad. That tastes bad. It tastes bad though. All right, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna look at I'm gonna look at it, Patrice. Aids in digestion. Raw onions contain diet dietary fiber, which is crucial for proper digestion and elim elimination of waste from the body. The fiber enhances the abs absorption of nutrients and prevents various ailments like constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, and hemorrhoids. Mm. Reduce inflammation. Reduces inflammation. Quercetin. Quercetin-rich raw onions have anti-inflammatory pro pro properties that assist in reducing inflammation levels in the body. It aids in managing conditions like arthritis, asthma, and bronchitis. Enhances bone health. Onions are an excellent source of Sulfur rich compounds that contribute to enhancing bone health. These compounds aid in promoting calcium absorption and preventing the risk of 
osteoporosis. Boost brain function. Damn, so onions might make you smarter, you heard? Raw onions contain sulfur compounds, which increase the production of neurotransmitters in the brain, leading to improved memory, attention span, and concentration levels. Oh, shit. Attention span? Maybe that's what the people who supposedly got short attention span that can't watch long-form videos, y'all need to eat some raw onions, you feel me? There's a lot of people supposedly... Oh, they got short attention span. They can't watch long form video. They only can watch shorts. Man, I need to start giving y'all some raw onions, yo. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. Make y'all sit there and watch them videos. Prevents cancer. Damn. Raw onions contain sulfur rich compounds and antioxidants that assist in preventing cancer. Sulfur compounds like quercetin, flavonoids, and allicin have anti carcinogenic properties that hinder cancer cell growth in the body promote skin care raw onions contain high levels of antioxidants and vitamin c which contribute to improving improving skin health consuming raw onions aids in reducing wrinkles age spots and pigmentation levels leading to healthy and glowing skin regulates blood sugar level raw onions contain chromium a mineral crucial in regulating blood sugar levels chromium assists and improving insulin efficiency, leading to controlled blood sugars levels, therefore reducing the risk of diabetes. Promote weight loss. Oh, snap! Number 10, promote weight loss. We finally at the end. Raw onions have low calorie and high fiber content that contri contribute to weight loss. The fiber helps in keeping one full and satisfied, reducing the chances of overeating, leading to calorie calorie deficit and ultimately weight loss consuming raw onions has numerous health benefits or as discussed above it is essential to note that excessive consumption can lead to digestive oh shit so <laughs> you can't eat too much of it though it says it is essential to note that excessive consumption can lead to digestive problems and bad breath therefore moderation is key to reaping the benefits of raw onion you can't go overboard with it jerry hey die you heard that Raw onions got health benefits, but you can't go overboard with eating raw onions, you heard? But ultimately, there's health benefits to it. Sounds good. You know what I mean? I might get, you know what I mean? I might, from now on, when I get onions on my burger, I might just tell them that let me just get raw onions. I don't know about just eating raw onions by themselves, but I could stand them on a burger. I love the long form videos. The longer, the better. I was over the moon that yesterday. It was 25 minutes long. Milos, man, I appreciate you, fam. Appreciate the love, y'all. Appreciate you watching the long form videos. We're supposed to live off the earth, not process. Well, that's true. with my dogs again have you been to KFC yet I've been to KFC a couple of times Sky Hat says I'm a nurse Sky Hat what works what are you talking about Sky Hat I missed your comment earlier coconut water lowers high blood pressure as well yeah I don't mess with coconuts like that I can't drink no coconut water hell no I wish ginger ale was, I mean, you know what, well, they do say ginger ale, you know what I mean? Sometimes when you get sick in a Haitian household, they'll tell you drink some, drink some ginger ale. Like, yeah, I like you got health benefits. You eat onions and you didn't know all this. Yeah, me neither. I didn't know all that about onions. I mean, I eat onions, not raw onions per se, but, you know what I mean, like onions on, on the burgers and stuff like that, but, you know, they be cooked. But I didn't know that onions by themselves, like raw onions, had all these benefits. You know, like, for example, like, if you go to Burger King and you get the Whopper, then they had the onions on the um, burger. You, I'm, Sometimes I might pick the onions up. Now, when I go to Burger King, if I get me a Whopper and they got onions on it, I ain't going to pick. I'm going to just eat it. I'm going to just eat them. Feel me? I don't know. I mean, I don't hate them like that. 
I could still eat them in a burger. I can't eat them raw, like, by themselves, but I could eat it on a burger. But chances are, too, is, like, it be thinking, it's like, yeah, they say the onions got all these benefits eating them raw and stuff, but then again, too, think about, like, fast food places that use onions, like, if McDonald's put onions on their, uh, on their, uh, McDouble or whatever. Because I don't think there's no onions on, ain't no onions on a Big Mac. Well, you could request onions, I think. But anyway, my point is, fast food places that put onions on burgers, I'm pretty sure they ain't using the onions that got the health benefits. I mean, I could be wrong, though. My man say he funnies. You know, I don't think funnies got health benefits. I don't think funnies got health benefits, fam. What time is it? Hey, that's true though. Do they got if you go to like GNC or something like that? Do they got onions in like the the pill form? Like, you know, like how when you go there, if you get if you go to GNC, you get your little vitamin pills. They probably do. Now you got me Google. Do some more research. Do they got onions and pills? Onion pills. I think they do got them trees. Yeah, they got on Amazon. It says onion supplements. Damn, Tree, she just gave me an idea. I might just go ahead and order some. Not right now, but eventually. They got they got them on Amazon. Trees onion supplements. I might have to order some of those for real. All them damn benefits. They got onion extractions and everything. <laughs> my dog, my dog, my dog. Back with my dog again. This shit crazy. I ain't even know. I mean, y'all don't make me go through all this about onions this morning. I mean, I ain't know nothing about this onion stuff. They got one right here on Amazon. They said it's like a bestseller. They got like 4.7. Maybe this might be the one to order. And they got the stuff that they was talking about, the quercetin stuff. Wait a minute. Is this it? 500 milligrams per serving. Well, it doesn't really say onions on it. It just says quercetin, which is the thing that was inside onions. I don't know. They got a few options on here, though. I have to look into that. I feel sorry for obese people. Why the hell are you on here? Sound like you're looking to get blocked. Back with my dogs again. Onions is good on a pizza. Yeah, I mean, but ain't nobody putting raw onions on no pizza. I don't know about that. Maybe Dye might put raw onions on a pizza. I could see somebody putting cooked onions on a pizza. I don't know about putting raw onions on no pizza. Look at this. New ads, privacy feature available. How was your call? Man, get out of here.
back with my dog again. Is good on tacos. Oh yeah, with the cilantro thing, I don't mind it. And the cilantro stuff, I don't mind that. Hey Jose, they was just on here talking about you earlier. Hey, Jose, it's the one-year anniversary, bruh. GTF one-year anniversary. You ever had white peach ginger? They got white peach ginger ale, too? Is that by Canada Dry? Raw onions is good on banana. I don't know about that combination, fam. White peach ginger ale. Let me Google it. White peach. What's the, what's the difference between white peach and regular peach? White peach ginger ale. But that's by Schweppes, though. But they do got peach, though. They don't say white peach on the Canada Dry got Bay Area Marketplace. They don't say white peach on it. It just says peach. That's all it says. It ain't look tasty, though. Boy. I ain't gonna lie. The color. They ain't looking mighty right. Oh, shit, they got pineapple ginger ale? Now, why the hell they don't got this stuff down here? That's crazy. Appreciate you, Jose. Appreciate you. One year strong, man. We in the building with it, Jerry. Yeah, I'm on Amazon right now. They got a Canada Drive variety pack on Instacart. 36, 36 cans. It's not bad. Well, I mean, to me, it's not. They got a 36 can variety pack on Amazon. I mean, Instacart. I guess on Instagram, Instacart, you could order. Hold on. Is this locally? Three, three, one. What's this? Hold on. Update. Back with my dog again. Yeah, they got a variety pack of, of Canada Dry um, trees. With the regular Canada Dry, cranberry, 12, 12 cranberry, 12 blackberry, 12 regular, 36 cans for $20. That's not bad. It's on Instacart. You can order for delivery. That sounds like a deal, you heard? Oh, shit, I didn't know you could order... Um, the hell I'm talking about I didn't know I'm tripping but yeah I could just be ordering shit on here instead of sa saving my ass from going to the store I could get the um the big pack of Kirkland waters on here the 40 pack and save myself a trip sometimes I be wasting my time I don't be wanting to go to the store sometimes 
I might have to start doing that. Ordering on Instacart. Save me from going to the store. Because the other day I needed some water. And I didn't want to go to Walmart. I didn't want to do it with them people. And I went to Walgreens to get the water. But that water was hot. That water, that water was higher than giraffe. Yoni, you heard? Shit was crazy. So, you know, Cranberry Joe. They got sued? When was this? Anything special for lunch? Um, to be honest with you, I don't know, fam. Damn, tree shit crazy. Ain't you supposed to be getting some forgiveness, some loan forgiveness trees? They don't bring your stuff most of the time. Man, that's crazy. Calypso drinks. What's Calypso drinks? There are a pizza place next to where I used to live work that did a tuna and banana. Tuna and banana pizza? That sounds crazy. Thank you. Appreciate it. A minute ago, okay? Hey, the crazy thing about it, though, in black households, you feel me? If you feel like you got some stomach problems, like your stomach, you got a stomach ache, they'll tell you drink some ginger ale fast, you heard? Back with my dogs again. They close before you can sign up? Damn. That's crazy. Get a Canada Dry Sponsor. Let me know where to go to get that. I definitely would love to do that. Let me know where to go to get that. Because just like I like Sprite, I love me some Canada Dry. Calypso drinks you can find at Wawa. Man, this should just cut off. This one of them cars after running for a while, that should turn off. What do you mean, no Francine and no Michael Jr.? Mike's still on here. Francine was here earlier. I don't know where she went. I think Francine said she was cleaning or something. Go to Google. Uh, I don't think that's going to work, fam. You can go on to Google and you sending people an email. They ain't going to respond. You got to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. You feel me? That's how I feel about it. Wawa brands be hitting too. I ain't never had a Wawa brand drink. Then again, though, I think I did have the Wawa. Wawa got some type of lemonade. Some type of lemonade that be in the little, the little bottle thing. And I've had that before. That was pretty good. Cool. Was it lemonade or pink lemonade? I think it was. Or was it strawberry lemonade? Some type of lemonade that Wawa, a Wawa brand lemonade they got in the little bottles. That was pretty good. body armor.
Oh, that's one of them. I was about to say. So, but don't last always. Have you tried raspberry ginger ale? No, not yet. I was just looking online. I seen they got the, the little pack thing, but the pack got cranberry, ginger, uh, cranberry regular, and um, blackberry. A variety pack. I was thinking about I was thinking about ordering that. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Back with my dogs again. My dog, my dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. Pumpkin spice frappe? No, I haven't tried that yet. I had the pumpkin spice frosty. A, a frappe and a frosty not too far from each other, right? If you could have only one, what would it be? Most likely chicken. You can't never go wrong with chicken, bro. You can't, you can't never go wrong with chicken. For the rest of your life, chicken. White peach ginger ale. White peach ginger ale. <clears throat> the blueberry wings. Hey, ain't Burger Stop was the place that I went to the other day? That place that I went to, Trees, that was, that was Burger Stop, wasn't it? place in Broward. Oh, I'll be forgetting. Today is National Frappe Day. Jose, you had the mumbo sauce? They say you can find these flakes. Well, Mike said you can find them in the store for the white peach one. I've never seen them. The blackberry, I found the blackberry in the store. I tried the McDonald's, um, what is it? I tried the, uh, I forgot which one I had. The sweet and spicy sauce. Sweet and, sweet and spicy. I think it's, yeah, sweet and spicy. I had that one. That was pretty cool. And then cook your chicken sandwich right, fam. That's crazy. You went to the wrong Burger King. You guys went to the Burger King in North Miami. Yeah, I tried the sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy was cool to me. It kind of reminds me some like some type of, you know, like they little jelly sauce, like, you know, some jelly type vibe, but it had a little kick to it. Nothing, nothing, you know what I mean? That wasn't handable. What comment? Burger Stop is the place you went to a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Trouble don't last always. Back with my dogs again. The one on Seventh Avenue?
Oh, damn. I ain't never had no issues out of them. Steak. I don't know. Ain't you know the place that I went to yesterday? They got steak fried rice. I ain't never seen steak. I, was, I ain't never been to those um, Asian spot that has steak fried rice before. I got to try that one of these days. That's crazy because I ain't never had no issues out of him. But you feel me? That's not to say that they probably never messed up before. I just never, you know, I just never experienced it, but that's crazy. Oh, so you're not talking about the original. I ain't never bought the other chicken sandwiches from there. Every time I go there, I get the... When I do get chicken sandwiches from there, it be the original chicken sandwich. I never got the, any of the other ones. That original, that original chicken sandwich is the best chicken sandwich to me from Burger King. The other ones, are they straight. But that's my favorite, the original chicken sandwich. That thing be juicy from over there. Yeah, we ain't stop for breakfast. Well, they were leftovers, because I know we ain't stop ain't open this early. Stop and hit film. That's crazy. That's breezy. Back with my dog again. Oh, my dog, my dog, my dog. Wow. Trouble don't last, oh. Like taking it off, bro. Should annoy me. Much better. <sighs> well, them school loans ain't no joke, huh? Damn, that shit crazy. That being in death shit ain't no joke, boy. Indoor skydiver. I'm straight. I don't mess with them heights, man. Your boy got that vertigo here. I don't play with them heights.
people frying broccoli, you know, that shit crazy. People fly, people fry anything, yeah, they frying broccoli. This shit crazy. Back with my dogs again. And this shit is 3.8 though. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that shit crazy. There's a lot of bad reviews. My dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. Who favorite veggie? Not mine. Yeah. I don't mess with broccoli. I don't care what it is. They can put cheese on it. They can fry it. I'm good off that broccoli. That's Tree's favorite food. I'm just chilling right now, fam. Appreciate you, fam. Appreciate you. Only time I like... Uh, well, I like veggies sometimes. It depends. But just not broccoli. Though. I ain't rock with broccoli at all. I don't put broccoli in nothing for me. Buffalo Korean sandwich. I wonder if that's good.
let us know who is releasing them viruses. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. Don't the hell. Do they really got chicken wing favorite ice cream? Or this shit fucking, or this shit is fake. Candy corn ranch. What is that candy corn ranch? See how much you can earn. Mongolian beef. What is what is Mongolian beef? See how much you can earn. Ice can burn. Ice cold water here. You doing a long form view today? I'm not even sure yet, fam. 
if not today, definitely tomorrow. Uh, today, I'm not sure. It's still up in the air. You know, I did a long form video uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do one today. I'm not sure yet. It all depends. I got some stuff I gotta take care of today. Ugh, blue cheese. Ain't no way, fam. Ain't no blue cheese. Ain't no way I'm picking blue cheese over ranch. Ain't no way. At 2 a.m.? No, I did try. I tried. It ain't work. That thing with no tambien, you heard? No bueno, you heard? Can't trust people who eat ranch. <laughs> For sure, fam. Yeah, they, the um the girl Jelly was telling me that. She was telling me that about the um yeah they open on the weekend they open at eleven thirty. When I'm with you, how can I snooze and miss the moment? I definitely got to take a trip back there. Though. I want to try the, um... Well, I ain't going to lie, boy. Them pork, them pork bottles was fire, boy. I'll go there just for that. It was $8 for two. I'll go there just for that. Pork bottles in the drink. I'm out of there. But I want to try the, um... That barbecue pork... Um, chicken fried rice. And they got the... I say chicken, barbecue pork chicken. I mean, they got barbecue pork fried rice. They got steak fried rice. They got, uh, what else they got that I might be interested in? The chicken fried rice, of course. The barbecue pork, the barbecue pork fried rice, the steak fried rice. A few little selections on the menu that I try again. I mean, that I'll try. That chicken, that chicken noodle, the chicken um ramen thing, it was okay. I wasn't crazy about it, but the pork bottle was, was most definitely on fire. see how far it is from my house because going around the corner is too far. Check it out. 
Trees, stop playing, Trees. Yeah, them thing was so soft and fluffy, boy, and it was warm, too. It was like, it was a little more than warm. It was kind of hot, but it wasn't burning my tongue hot. It was just like a nice level of hot, like, you feel me? It was more than warm, but it wasn't like burning my tongue hot. You bit into that thing, that thing was so soft and fluffy, and then it was it was kind of hot, but it wasn't so, um, it wasn't unbearable, like, it wasn't hot to the point where it was burning my tongue. So it was like I took that bite, that soft bite into it, and then the goddamn um steam was coming out of that at the same time. Shit was like a movie, you heard? I ain't even gonna cap with y'all. I'll go back just for them vials. I need to get a leg massage. I'll be putting some miles on my dogs, you heard? I need to get a leg massage. Put some miles on my dogs, especially with that cardio burn thing, the calorie burn thing. I need to get a leg massage for real. Give me a good old leg massage, get that blood flowing through there, cause I be, you know what I mean? I be putting some miles on my dogs with that calorie burn, you heard? Damn, that's that place over here that I wanted to try too. I gotta come over here one day. Hey, Treese, I just seen some Amish people, man. I think they Amish. They got the top hats over here with the trench coats over here and um, between Lil' Haiti and Winwood. I think they Amish people. They had the top hats with the long black trench coat. But they ain't had the horse and buggy thing, though. Muy delicioso, yeah. It was sweet and savory. Them things were savory. And then on top of that, the bread, and then she did whatever they had on the inside. She said it was some type of sweet meat. At first, when she told me about it, I'm like, beans. You know, beans don't really be sounding too appetizing when you tell somebody beans. So I said, when she, when she was telling me about the order, she said, yeah, it come with the pork thing on top of it, and on the inside, it got like sweet beans. So when she said beans, I'm like, eh. So I'll try it, but I probably ain't gonna really like whatever that is on the inside. Because beans don't never sound too appetizing, you feel me? But yeah, give me that thing. I'm like, damn, what is this? Fuck. Whatever was on the inside, supposedly sweet beans, that shit ain't give you no, uh. I'm saying, you know, you wouldn't think it was beans on the inside. Well, this car wash right here in Little Haiti, boy, this thing been here forever, boy. This car wash over here in Little Haiti. That thing been there since I was a kid. Since I was living in Little Haiti. I left Little Haiti with my parents in 2020. No, 2020? No, 2000, year 2000. Well, we in 2023. And it's still here, that's 23 years later. And that, it was there before that. That car wash been there for a minute, boy. Time flies. A couple decades, er. I miss Lil' Haiti though, man. I miss my old hood, man. Oh shit, they sell sandwiches at this little corner store in Lil' Haiti? Oh man, I gotta come over here and do a little hood review. I ain't know they had little sandwiches in there. I gotta come back to Lil' Haiti and do a little hood review at the little corner store over here. They got a sandwich thing outside.
I'm missing the conversation because I'm driving. What are we talking about? I can't see, I, I'm driving, I can't see the conversation. I'm trying to scroll through it, but I'm driving. They were either Jew, Je, Je, Jehovah Witness, what? Hey, trees, but the people had the same attire like the Amish people. So if they were in the same attire, how would you know what's the difference? Is it because they're in Miami? What's a kingdom hall? I gotta go run some errands. I gotta go run some errands. That's why I say I think tomorrow. It's about to be 10 live, it's about to end. Still be some traffic, but it'd be smooth set. It'd be, it'd be way better on the weekends, bro. I can't stand driving on the weekdays down here, bro. Can't stand. 
stand driving on the weekends. Gotta get a pot there, you feel me, on the weekend sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with being home though. started doing it like uh i was doing it like i said I tell y'all before i was doing a car thing and i wanted to start something new because the car thing is just I mean, it's just kind of getting weird to me with, with you know what i mean with certain individuals just getting into the car world certain stuff is just getting kind of weird and i just wanted to try something new i know i like food and you know what i mean i seen that it was actually it was actually an audience. <laughs> you feel me? There was actually an audience for people that you know what I mean that go out and eat and critique the food. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this. And like I said, when I tried it before, when I said when I decided to try it, I didn't know if it was gonna work or not. You know what I mean? But it did. So I just kept going with it, you know. And that like you you could just. You know what I mean? I, didn't, I definitely didn't know if it was going to work or not. I just like, if you go back and look at my first video compared to now, it's like, you know, like, I go back and look at my first video and be like, damn, like, you feel me? Like, and I be kind of shocked a little bit too because I look at how, how I do it now compared to my first video. I be like, damn, you feel me? Like, that's how I was doing it at first. Like, I just thought, like, my, my, like, like my first videos got me looking like, when I look at them, it's like, I mean, just being honest with y'all, like I look at my first video and be like, damn, you know, like, it's just how y'all be saying, like, cause some people like, they don't be looking at the dates of the video and people that go back and people like, I guess the old videos are popping in their timeline. 
and they be like, damn, where's the energy? What's going on with you, man? But they don't realize those are older videos. So when I go back and look at the older videos too, I'll be like, damn. I look at, I get, I, I have a, like a look at it. That I just feel like, damn, you know what? They ain't lying. Like there was really no energy in this video. But the people who go in and see those videos, they think they current videos, but they old videos. So when I look at it, like, damn, you know what? I did really come a long way because like when I go back and look at those old videos, I feel like you know the, the energy wasn't the same. But, you know what I mean, I just kept going with it, and it is what it is today. I just stayed consistent. Just gotta be consistent, fam. Just gotta be consistent with it. Most definitely gotta be consistent with it. But another thing, too, with full reviews, too, is like, Especially for a person like me, like, it ain't easy. Well, first and foremost, it ain't easy for people, you know, you know, you got to go out there and shoot the content, then you got to edit the content or get somebody to edit the content, whatever. All that takes time. And then on top of that, for, for a person like me, like, I'm on the heavy side of things, you feel me? So I already know if I consume too much food and, and, and I sit there, I ain't going to do nothing but gain weight. But thank God, you feel me? Like, like one reason I say, you know, it's a little different for me because I'm on the heavy side of things. Like, I gotta also put in work outside of food reviews. Like, I gotta actually, like, I tell y'all the calorie burn thing, so I don't put on the weight. So that's like an extra step for me. Not saying that the other people who do it don't work out. They probably do. But I don't know for me, I gotta, you know what I mean? I gotta get my little calorie burn thing. So that's like another step that I gotta go through. I did this for a whole year and I ain't gained one pound. If anything, I lost weight. And I still want to lose weight. I still want to lose like a good... Mm, I still want to lose a good... I still want to lose like a good another 40, between 40 to 50 pounds. When I do lose the weight. Keep right at the fork to stay on I-95 North. And even if I do lose the weight, if I continue to do full reviews, I still gotta keep working out. So it, it just the working out, the the calorie burn part never stops. Continue on I-95 North for six miles. Because if you stop, then you're gonna gain weight. So the calorie burn part never stops. That's another thing too, people gotta realize you gotta be willing to put in that extra. talking about game is crazy and it makes you really there Damn. I can't see nothing with y'all typing I gotta focus on the road I lose weight watching people eat oh really I'm over here trying to gain weight I wish I had your metabolism then. Sure. Man, I wish I had your metabolism. Boy, I know some people for real though that eat and they don't they can't they don't gain weight. But me, if I eat, feel me, I gotta go get my little calorie burn on so I don't gain weight. That shit crazy. That shit crazy, little fam. Why they got the 
boat show coming on on the 25th. I went, didn't I go to a boat show before on this channel? some errands first so I don't know I'm trying to see what I could do 
if not today, probably tomorrow, something. I don't know. Get the phone holder that has the suction cup on it. Mine do have a suction thing, like on the window. The thing that go on the windshield. But you know, I be in and out of cars because I be getting the rental. So I got to take it off the windshield of this car, put it on the next car, whatever, ever so often, whatever. After a couple months, the shit don't want to hold on no more. Hold on, let me turn my camera around so I can show you. This the one I got right here. That's the one I got. Every couple months, I gotta order a new one because the shit don't wanna hold on no more. It should start tripping. Got some clip right to your area. I gotta see which one of those. Yeah, if you can just swap them from air vent to that should hold that should last a lot longer. But this windshield, that shit ain't it. I ain't keep spending no $15 every couple months, bro. People need to get sued.
Talking about some YouTube shorts live. What is a YouTube shorts live? I put my answer, but it wouldn't post. What is going on? I don't know what's going on. You tell me. It used to be die, but she's always. Grabbing milk. They wild on me back. Extra space stars. and check out the long form videos as well fam nah I ain't about to pay them toes I'm about to get off right here take exit 23 then keep right at the fork exit 23 I'm out of here I ain't paying that toll we taking a long way today I got a little time before I need to get there I got a little time Taking a back 
road, you heard? We finna slide through Clinton. Boy, was any good at place to eat until you stay. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. I'm Grubton, man. I'm Grubton from Miami, Florida. <laughs> That's who I am. You heard? I'm Grubton from Miami, Florida. That's who I am. You heard? Maybach, what's the love connection? That was up, man. I was just in Tampa. Uh, when was the last time I was in Tampa? I was in Tampa maybe some months ago. Yeah, it probably was some months ago. I don't remember how long ago. I know last time I went, there, I was in St. Petersburg. The last road trip I took, I think I was in St. Petersburg. Then I think I was in Tampa prior to that. I don't remember. I can't remember exactly. Oh shit, they got airboat, they got airboat rides over here. That'd be something nice to do. Take a airboat ride, you heard? Francine and Bones? Damn. That shit crazy. Georgia and Maryland? The Georgia and Maryland connection? Going good. How yours, you here? How's your morning? Boy, just sliding and looking right now. You understand me? Chef Boy RD, I ain't no Uncle Ben, you heard? Hopefully this shit hold on now. I ain't no Chef Boy RD or no Uncle Ben, you heard? service over here. I don't know if y'all still can hear me. I mean, when you take them back roads, when you take them back roads, it don't be no good service. Can y'all still hear me? They 
vibing in the comments I see. I think that's the purpose. I think they do that on purpose. Why, when you travel on back roads, the service be tripping. They like purposely like mess up the service on the back road area so you could take, so you could take the area where where where, where you gotta pay tolls at. Because as much as technology evolves, as much as technology evolves, ain't no way. No place in the United States should service, cell phone service be acting up. As much as technology evolve, ain't no way. They do, they, they do that on purpose, bro. I bet the president's cell phone never have, I bet the president's cell phone never be tripping. Wherever he had in the United States.
Francine got go, go Francine got grown kids. to Southwest Florida to, to run some errand. Please explain what this COVID boyfriend thing mean. I really need to know what that mean, Trees. She got a COVID boyfriend. Trees, I want to know what that mean. ZB. through a divorce. 